What do most people not realize is newer than they actually think? The knowledge that it's bad to drink when pregnant only became widely known in the 80s. Boxer briefs are fairly new to the scene, becoming popular in the 1990s. Tomatoes are actually a new world crop, so when you associate Italy with pasta sauce, you're actually thinking of Italy, post-Columbian exchange, mid-1500s. And actually, tomato sauce wasn't even invented until the late 19th century, so go figure. Hey there, are you subscribed yet? Please do. Also leave a like on this video to help out the channel. What hit me the other day, Germany. It was only reunified 30 years ago. Knowing what the sun is made out of. Having to show ID at the US-Canada border. Prior to 9-11 they often wouldn't even ask to see a driver's license. In 1988, United States-based airliners banned smoking on domestic flights of less than two hours duration. In March 1995, the United States, Canada, and Australia agreed to ban smoking on international flights traveling between those countries. New Zealand. Its indigenous population only arrived there about 800 years ago, despite Australia just across the Tasman having been inhabited for 75,000 plus years. The theory of plate tectonics. It pretty much makes up the entire backbone of modern geology, yet it wasn't actually accepted until the 1960s. Alfred Wegener proposed his theory of continental drift in 1915 but couldn't explain the mechanism behind it so his theory was dismissed. Over the next few decades, the evidence of crustal movement became undeniable and plate tectonics developed as a theory. It's just crazy to me that geologists were pretty much completely clueless until around 60 years ago. I'm glad you are enjoying this video. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Pluto, the celestial body, wasn't truly discovered until 1930. Only one year later, Mickey Mouse's dog was renamed from rover to Pluto, likely to capitalize on the hype around this new planet, but there are no sources to confirm this. Hallways weren't widely used until the 1800s. Rooms would just open into the next room. Machu Picchu. The Tower of London pre-dates it by almost 400 years. Toilet paper as we know it's soft, fluffy, white. Toilet paper that was free of wood splinters didn't exist until the 1920s. The knowledge that other galaxies exist other than our own Milky Way in 1925. The now commonly accepted theory that a large meteor caused, or was a major cause of, the extinction of the dinosaurs. When you watch Fantasia 1940 and see the Rite of Spring sequence, wherein you witness the extinction of the dinosaurs, you see that it's portrayed as a great drought which was followed by a series of mass skive earthquakes. That's because at that time, this was the most accepted idea of what caused the mask extinction. The theory of the dinosaurs being killed off by a meteor strike, or the effects of said strike on the planet, rather, is called the Alvarez theory and was first proposed by Luis and Walter Alvarez in the year 1980. Italy wasn't a unified single country until 1871. Before that, it was a patchwork of small kingdoms and city-states with different local dialects and languages. As late as 1861, only 2.5% of Italians spoke what is now known as Standard Italian, which before then was the Florentine dialect of Tuscan. White LED lights, which were only made possible when Japanese scientists worked out how to make blue light emitting LEDs in the early 1990s. So the blue LEDs that you now see everywhere from cars to PC rigs are also that new. Edit, should mention Professors Isamu Akasaki, Hiroshi Amano and Shuji Nakamura won the 2014 Nobel Prize for their discovery. At home blood glucose monitoring has only been possible since around 1980. 1908 through 1980, you had to make an appointment with your doctor. 401k retirement accounts. Didn't start until about 1980, aka we have yet to see an entire generation actually retire with a 401k. Edit. Wow thanks for all the awards. Go out and vote y'all. I sometimes forget children use this website. Picasso's death. 1973 I am sure. Democrats being blue and Republicans being red only dates back to around the year 2000. Women with credit cards in their own names. I think that was in the 1970s. Grask. It's a relatively new plant. Grask happened after dinosaurs went extinct. Mr. Stegosaurus never nommed on Grasks. Edit. I've loved reading the responses. Thanks, folks. It's given me some interesting information. For example, the precursor to Grask looks like it popped up just before the extinction meteor bopped Earth right in the kisser, at around 66 Maya. Then, boom, extinction event, which kinda leveled the playing field, clearing lots of space and resulting in fewer consumers of plants, letting the pre-Grask plants evolve more freely into what we recognize as Grask. 
Antibiotics. People in the generation of your grandparents could have died from stubbing a toe. The last execution by guillotine happened the year they released Star Wars in movie theaters in 1977 edit, it wasn't officially removed as a form of execution until 1981 in France. The word sibling was coined in 1903. 24-hour news, CNN was the first 24-hour news station in 1980, and even then most people didn't have cable to watch it, so they only got TV news in the morning, noon, 5 to 6-ish and after prime time. Unless something big happened between then. Calling 911. It only started in 1968. High fives date from 1977. Wearing whatever you want in college. Before the 1960s everyone are required to wear suits and ties and other formal gear. In high school in the 1990s learning about basics of biology the discovery of the basis of DNA structures seemed like ancient history the people they discovered it were still alive then. Not super new but the match was invented after the lighter. Standardized paper sizes. Before the 1900s, documents would come in all shapes and sizes. Insulin for diabetics. First used in 1922 my great-grandmother died at age 24 in 1912 from diabetes and no insulin. Sports bras. They were only invented in the late 70s. Indoor toilets. My house, London, UK, was built in 1937. It was the first generation of houses to be built with indoor loos. Before then, toilets were in outside rooms. The house I grew up in had an outside loo, and all the schools I went to as a kid had outside toilets. They were fine in summer, I grew up in a warmish part of the UK, but bloody chilly in winter. I'm old enough to remember black and white televisions still being commonplace, and remember when remote controls were brand new technology. 31 here. GPS. Hope to think I'm not that old but old enough to remember a shift in technology. I posted a reply below saying, remember resetting your trip odometer and looking at the road nameplates while shuffling badly printed directions? MapQuest was the shit. I have fond memories of driving a $1000 five-speed Jeep while trying to juggle talking on a green screen Nokia brick and shuffling through six pages of directions printed on an Epson running out of ink. It seems way more dangerous now than it did then. Bluegrass music isn't actually, traditional, in the way we think about other traditional folk music. In fact, bluegrass is only slightly older than rock and roll, having been basically single-handedly invented by Bill Monroe in the late 1930s and 1940s. While a lot of bluegrass is mountain music made flashy, the parameters of the genre are actually quite strict, as created by Monroe, and stylistically it's different enough from traditional mountain music to be a separate genre altogether. Plastic A single woman's ability to buy a house. Banks would almost never give a loan to a woman who didn't have a husband. It wasn't until the 1970s that this changed. Bicycles as we know them today weren't invented until the late 1800s. I used to work in a medieval museum. During school tours I used to ask the kids what forms of transport were used in medieval times, every time someone would say bicycles. The modern interstate highway system in the US. Modern divided highways date to the 1970s. Before then, going cross-country involved a patchwork of, country roads, many of which were just two lanes, I-10 wasn't finished until the 1990s, when the last stretch in Phoenix was completed. Before that, it diverted through city streets. The addition of, under God, in the US Pledge of Allegiance, 1954. High fives. It blew me away when my dad told me he was older than the high five. In NCFM radio transmission 1983 before the first official license was issued. I recently saw a picture that said, I told my kids I'm older than Google and they did not believe me, because Google was invented in 1998. So I'm going to say Google. We're closer in time to T-Rex than T-Rex was to Stegosaurus. Microwaves, at least in the US I was born in 83 and can remember always having one. They weren't really a mainstream middle class appliance until the late 70s. Knowledge of the existence of dinosaurs. They were discovered in 1819. George Washington lived his entire life without knowing of their existence. And everyone before him. I'm not sure if this really is relevant, but it took longer to switch from bronze swords to iron swords than it did from iron swords to nuclear weapons. America invented Sudoku in the 70s. Sliced bread. Betty White is older than store bought sliced bread holy shit this blew up. Thanks for the awards. Cleopatra. She was closer to seeing the iPhone than the pyramids being built. The first black child allowed into white schools was a girl named Ruby Bridges. She just celebrated her 65th birthday. Gary Oldman is actually newer than Gary Newman. 
2020, it only started 10 months ago. The U.S. is ICE. They were formed back in 2003, they're not some old, powerful branch of the federal government. Captain goes down with the ship, is less than 150 years old, and has more to do with salvage rights than honor. Kitty Litter turns 70 this month. Pretty new considering humans have been keeping cats as pets for close to 10,000 years. My dad still tells me every time he buys a new car that it has air conditioning. Yeah dad, for at least 30 years now they all have AC. Smartphones. I often hear people on Reddit talk about how recent 9-11 is and are shocked that there are people who are born after 9-11 and entering adulthood now, yet don't realize that 2001 was in the era before smartphones. A lot of time did pass. The internet. My kids have always known the internet. We have to explain to them that we didn't have Google or just look something up. We had books and libraries. Having so much free and immediately available poor asterisk video on demand. Wearing a white wedding dress. It actually originated from the 1800s when Queen Victoria wore a white dress for her wedding. And yeah, the whole, white to symbolize purity, isn't some ancient tradition. Before Victoria, common women wore their nicest dresses, usually black, and upper-class women favored anything fancy. Red was a popular choice if I remember correctly. So if anyone gives you lip for not choosing to wear white for your wedding, just tell them you're not much of a monarchist, lol. Hooded sweatshirts are from the 1930s, but the word, hoodie, is from 1990.